happens in hip hop. You know, it's hip hop is the wild west. So you're gonna have the good, you're gonna have the bad, you're gonna have the ugly. You think he's being targeted or some of the stuff he's got, you know, there's credibility on what they're coming after him with the tapes and the feds and rating his Miami home, his LA home? Uh, I believe he's being targeted. You believe he's being targeted? Yeah. I I believe, you know, somebody, you know, has the power to pull the trigger to make, you know, this stuff, this domino effect happen. (laughs) 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 Okay. All right. So you, you think he's being targeted. So you don't think, uh, 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 you know, Shook said, you can say what you want about Diddy, but Diddy didn't learn to like young boys. He learned it from a man named Clive Davis. He threw Clive Davis in there. You, you, it doesn't sound like you're part of that camp. You're part of the camp that you think he's being targeted. You know, I don't, I don't know enough to even be able to, to uh, be specific on any of this stuff. It's just all speculation. I just know... He was cool up until a point, and then this, this stuff started happening. So I, I believe somebody, you know, like I said, uh, said, yo, he's our new guy. We on t- this year or whatever. Are you uh, surprised at what, what things are coming out with Diddy at all? Or are you like, have you have? So, yeah, that's a good point for Ice Cube. So, uh, go ahead, Ryan. Do you agree with um, Ice Cube's take about Diddy's being targeted? Um, I said that before. Uh, when the first thing you know with Diddy up, I say I think he's being target, targeted because the same fact is, have you not? Have you guys not noticed yet? They still not talking about the S, the Epstein list. They not even mentioning the list. So they need to, um, they need someone to, to pick on, and the the person to pick on is P Diddy. But that's just my Christian believe now people can make feel any type of way they feel about PDD because we know him to be very arrogant, also very narcissistic, even though he's not diagnosed, but a lot of people think he's very narcissistic and he's just a, a person that you can't really tell him nothing because he's bad boys for life. So I think they really um they're really talking to this man because they don't have nobody else to target and now that they're using him as a big distraction. Like prime example right now, you see they're not talking about PDD at all. But as soon as, as soon as somebody mentioned Epstein's list. Then they're going right back to PD. Look, PD got more allegation, more allegation, more allegation, more allegation, more allegation. So that is my personal belief. I think I think he is being targeted, and um, and I think he knows that himself. So that's why right now he's been very quiet on how he's moving things. And not only that, you guys also notice that he's not really on social media like he used to anymore. He just completely like shut down, and I don't blame him. Your take, High King? Um. I think um, Ice Cube made an, uh, a wonderful response, and I hope nobody um, hate on him. A lot of us wants us to join on a bandwagon when it comes to people being exposed without looking from another lens and say, okay, what, why is this going on for? Ice Cube gave a point. He was cool up until a certain point, and this, all this got exposed just out of a sudden. So what do we do now? I think that's something logical to think about. Okay, why nobody exposed him 10, 20, 30 years ago, but now what all of the sudden is? You know what I mean? Even after the Me Too movement. So I'm wondering, like, what's going on? Now, not just a disclaimer. I do not support none of that stuff if it's true. But you can't, all of us want us to get on a bandwagon to judge a person when we don't have 100% context or the information on it. That's my take. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I, yeah, like I said, Ice Cube, you know, he's, he's a straightforward guy. You know, he don't mess around and, you know, he believes what he believes, you know, and I agree with him. You know, he's being targeted and everything. You know, it all started started December when the um, Cassie filed a lawsuit to get money. And then after that, it was a domino effect. But then, you know, a whole bunch of people was trying to get, trying to get his money. And then, you know, now, and then after that, you know, his house got ready in LA and Miami at the exact same time. And then after that, um, his that that leak, the video leak came out, you know, years ago when Cassie and um and uh, Diddy was in the hotel late that night, and he showed him he was, you know, abusing Cassie and everything. So it's all you know, piling piling papers and everything and everything. So like I said, we really 
you made a great point about the Epstein list, uh, Hakeem. I mean, uh, Ronnie. Um, one of there was one of the news crew uh, was talking, and uh, there was a uh, Trump supporter had an Epstein list to show. Where's the Epstein list out? It was supposed to come out earlier this year, and I was I was gonna do a topic about it, but the thing is, it never came out. It never came out. But you you, you made a great point, Ronnie. Once more, the um, rumors, a lot of my Epstein list. That's what I think, you know, we're going to hear about Diddy's going to be a daddy or might be more photos or uh, photos or video leak of him and Diddy and everything. So, yeah, when it comes to. Um, and in and, and, and I said for America, the, for the, the people that have some super duper power and everything, they can do anything you want to. And right now, they always focus on Diddy to keep the other people at rest and at ease. And if you got the money, you got the power. That's how it works. So I agree with, I agree with Ice Cube. That was I agree with him, and uh, but let's see, let's see what happens. But I'm still waiting on that S- on the Epstein's list. I think everybody is. So when that list finally reveal itself, then the PD will no longer be a distraction. But by then, PD will probably be in court, and there'll be a, still another major distraction again <laughs> on that Epstein that FC list. But not only that, but that being said, guys, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell on the right hand side because we get ready to deep dive to different variety of topics. You know it's freestyle Friday, so we normally do things on, on Friday rapid speed. So we're gonna hit topic after topic after topic. So I would say, uh, guys, keep up because it's gonna be an exciting, exciting show because Jordan has a lot of things to talk about. And I don't know, Jordan, there's one topic you missed. I wanted to add on before the end of the show because I just want to know you guys personal opinion on this one i forgot to see you guys this one but this one i want to know your personal opinion on this one so go ahead join do your thing okay so oh this topic right here i, I want to talk about this so i live in los angeles it's one of one of the biggest cities in america and it's, it's a lot going on in los angeles you know there might be different car car chases uh also when i was passing that work when i um saw the delivery um robot um there was a police you know six seven years of police was gathered at this one restaurant you know i, I don't know if, because i guess somebody shot somebody and everything so i passed that but something happened yesterday which it definitely hit you know went viral in all social media so a lot of people don't know there's different car car, car chases goes down in los angeles like maybe once a week or every other week but there was a car chase where there was a man who went live while he was in a car chase and he had his girlfriend and his baby inside petrified that petrified of the cops was chasing them 